a bit shorter and definitely have it like shaped around my face a bit more. Nice. From past experience, I want it tucked behind my ears okay. because you want to be able to. Do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just about. So kind of this sort of length. Of it's off. kind of mouth, chin. Yeah. Ear-ish. I always felt like I could kind of get it just yeah. like where my ears are, and then it'll. Yeah. Yeah. Grab the picture. Yeah. Show me. Yeah, so this sort of length, yeah. and nice, I quite like that. that it's quite tussled as well, okay. and not too straight. So do you, okay, so there's a general texture you find, yeah. so how do you style it at the moment? Is I this... do nothing with it, okay. but when so it gets... you wash it and leave it, it's... Yeah. So it's got an element of that to it straight away, okay. Yeah, and then I quite like the front way it steps down like this, nice. also. So you um, like the movement, the yeah. lift, it's not too precise, it can be sort of thrown around yeah. quite natural. Do you want to be able to tie that up still? Um, yes, but I tend to put it in a clip, okay. so it doesn't have to be, like, I don't have to have it all perfectly up, if just the front bit comes up, I'm usually okay. fine with that. Right, so mm. if, like, that falls out of it. Yeah, you know, I like, don't mind do too much. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nice, okay, cool. nice. I kind of, I don't do anything with my hair, I rarely blow dry it. I just let it dry naturally, okay. and then I will, if I feel like straightening it, yeah. maybe for a night out, but I don't really no, do cool. anything day to day. So I can show you a way of styling your hair very easily, Yeah. how to do the roots of your hair. 80% of your blow dry comes from the roots. If you blow dry just the roots, very simply, in 5 to 10 minutes, leave the rest dry, you're going to get a vibe just like that. Yeah. So, just can I get this picture yeah. together? Because they're very varied in length, yeah. so that to me, that one's very bobbish, that yeah. one's not. So when you're, because when you're around this kind of length, it's a bit of a danger length. Yeah. So hers is almost like a grown out version of that. And what tends to happen when you're here, depending on how long you're here, would that be something? I'm not too fast because I've kind of had it before. So I've kind of gone from here where it's been all right. And then mm. after a couple of months, it started to flake and yeah. But I kind don't of really mind. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do the length of your hair. Yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. So just off your shoulder there, that would be really nice. Yeah. It's like a long version of just like skimming your shoulder. Yeah. So as it grows out and it starts to do that, it'll still hold the other shape of the hand up. So we'll create like a little bit of shape there to have a bit of a focal point. It'll be one length and then have a very, very soft layer to it. So you kind of, where you like that, way where our hair was sitting there, yeah. you don't want to overlay this to make it feel too short. You almost want to, you're building weight and making it sort of chunky. Yeah. Almost, yeah? So we're going to just square the corner away so, it, so between like here and there it's got a little bit of movement and it'll flow around really nicely. So if you wear it there, there or there, or just, that's cool. And I'll show you how to style it and then um, that's it. Yeah. Really it. Yeah. That sound good? Yeah, that's perfect. Really good. Cool. Right, let's get it going.